first step to buying meat is to go to a meat counter. A lot of selection, uh, a lot of prices. So make sure you know what you want when you go in. I got about a pound of ground beef. And with that pound, I'm going to go ahead and start browning it. So when I dump it into the pan, I know it does not look the most appetizing, but I promise it will be. I uh, start spreading it out so all of the heat can get to as much of the meat as possible. Now while that's browning, I'm going to peel our potatoes. Now with regular potatoes, you don't necessarily have to do this, but sweet potatoes, I don't like their skin. Um, so I'm making sweet potato fries, so I'm peeling them, and after I peel them, I'm going to go ahead and cut them. Now you want to be extra cautious when using a knife. Uh, don't mind my technique, but if you do do some unorthodox techniques of cutting uh, your potatoes up, just make sure you do it slow, you take your time, and you don't rush it, because when you rush it and you start messing around, that's when you can get hurt. But I'm cutting them into fry shapes, uh, and while that's happening, we'll check see how the browning's going. Now, we're going to have to mix this up every so often to make sure that one side doesn't get burnt and the other side doesn't stay red. So we're just going to take a spoon and kind of spread it out a little bit, mix it up. Then once that's done browning, we need to see how much liquid has cooked out of it. So if we look here in the right side of the screen, you know, there's a little bit of liquid and fat that kicked, cooked out of it. But for the most part, this is okay. This is, I don't mind this. So I'm going to leave that liquid in there. Uh, we'll add the manwich. Now, a lot of people said that manwich is sacrilegious to use. Uh, I love it. It's cheap. Tastes great. Uh, one thing that you can do to make it taste better, which most people may not do if they complain about it, is add brown sugar, which you'll see here in a second. So after you give it a stir, uh, made it even, we'll add in some brown sugar. Now, you'll notice the brown sugar that I added in there was a big clump that came out and I thought oh no I put too much in but this actually turned out really really good so don't hesitate to put a lot of brown sugar in to the manwich it'll help dull out the flavor and make it a little bit sweeter so we'll just mix that in and once it's mixed in we're gonna lower the temperature um, on the stove and let that simmer for a little bit so we're gonna take our potato fries and don't mind the elbow shot because there's a point that I want to make about fryers and oil that's super important when we put our potatoes in the basket to be able to fry them, we want to make sure that we're putting them even uh, and we're not making one side of the basket too much uh, taller than the other. Then when you lower it down, this is the important part, if you have something that has a lot of moisture in it, this could bubble up and flare over. So lower it down gently and once we let that cook for maybe five to ten minutes, uh, we are then going to take a paper plate with a paper towel on it. We'll unplug our fryer. We'll give our basket a good shake. And like I said, this is after five to ten minutes of frying. Depends how many fries you have in there. And these are from fresh potatoes. These aren't frozen. Uh, we'll dump them onto that paper towel and plate. Now we'll check in on our sloppy joe. That's looking good. We want to make sure the pan isn't uh, getting burnt. Oh, if we see a bubble, just keep stirring it. Then we start uh, plating our food. Notice I, I put a little bit on there. I uh, hope you boys like them sloppy. Name that movie for extra credit. Uh, and then we'll take a little uh, paper towel on top. Pat it dry to get all the extra grease off. And there you go.